Hello students, welcome back. Today we will start a new chapter that is electromagnetic waves. Now, according to the new syllabus, the reduced one, few of the topics from this chapter is been removed. The topics which are removed, I'll just read out the topics. Please do cut that topic from your book, okay? That is, basic idea of displacement current is been removed. Another one is Maxwell's equation. Okay, now in this chapter, you need to understand that derivation is not there. Okay, no derivation is required. No need to go through the derivation. Just a basic idea of electromagnetic waves is necessary to understand. And this chapter is, uh, I guess, for only few masks. So the basic idea, and this is a very simple and easy chapter. Okay, it's a very simple chapter. So, please don't exclude this from the syllabus, okay? So, we are starting with the topic that is electromagnetic waves. And from the name itself, you can understand that electromagnetic means combination of electric and magnetic waves. The waves in which electric and magnetic fields vary sinusoidally in mutually perpendicular directions and also perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the wave. Such waves which can actually propagate in space even without any material medium are called electromagnetic waves. Now first thing to remember, electromagnetic wave does not need a medium to propagate. It can travel in free space also. Light can travel in free space, so light is also an electromagnetic wave. So, before going into the depth of electromagnetic wave, I'll draw how it actually looks like. This is y-axis. This is x-axis. And this is z-axis. So, there are three axes, x, y, and z. Now, Electromagnetic waves, they change in both the axes, uh, mutually change together. So in the y-axis, is electric wave, we are just considering it, okay? They are mutually perpendicular, so we are con considering electric field to change in the y-axis. So if electric field changes in the y-axis, so this is the electric field changing in the y-axis. Okay, it's propagating along y-axis. So this is electric field in the y-axis. Electric field lines propagating sinusoidally in the y-axis. Now, magnetic field B will propagate along z-axis. Okay, magnetic field B will propagate along z-axis. Z-axis is quite like this. So this diagram will also look. Okay, it is propagating along z-axis. This is electric field mutually perpendicular to the... Oh, sorry, this is magnetic field mutually perpendicular to the electric field propagating along moving along z-axis now both the waves electric field is along y magnetic field along z but it is moving along x-axis okay this is moving in the x direction propagating along x direction so both e and b e and b vary with time and space and have the same frequency okay it has got same frequency now maxwell was the one who actually predicted that electromagnetic waves can travel in free space with the speed of light and he concluded that light itself is an electromagnetic wave which is transverse in nature another property important one to rem remember is transverse nature the it is a wave. So waves are of two types, transverse and longitudinal. Electromagnetic wave is transverse by nature. A very important point you need to remember. 
Now, the other examples of electromagnetic waves are radio waves, microwaves, infrared rays, ultraviolet rays, X rays, gamma rays. So, all the types of rays are all these different types of rays are electromagnetic waves. Even the light, even the sunlight is an electromagnetic wave. Okay, now next one is relationship between magnitudes of E and B in free space. There is a whole derivation for this in the book, which is not required. Just remember this equation, okay? Relation between electric field and magnetic field in free space. So the relationship is E divided by B is equals to C. C is the speed of light. So ratio of electric field and magnetic field is actually the speed of light. Now the velocity. Velocity of EM wave or electromagnetic wave V is equals to under root epsilon sorry nu epsilon. So this two are permeability and permittivity of the medium. So in any type of medium, if electromagnetic wave is traveling in different medium rather than in space, then it depends upon the permeability and permittivity of that particular space or the medium. So this is the formula for velocity of electromagnetic waves and this is the relation of E and B with speed of light. So another one is energy density in electromagnetic waves. Again, derivation not required. Energy density. Now we know electromagnetic wave carries energy. Okay. So density of the energy which is carried by EM wave is noted by U bar, which is equals to half epsilon naught E naught square. Okay. Now E naught over here is the now in a sinusoidal wave. Okay, what I have told you is this maximum displacement, okay, this maximum displacement of electromagnetic wave is E0, okay. This is a peak electromagnetic wave or this formula can also be written as <clears throat> E0 is equal to, okay, in place of, uh, this is with, in terms of electromagnetic waves now in terms of this is in terms of electric wave this is uh, in terms of magnetic waves okay these are the two different formulas for energy density energy density of em wave now <clears throat> another topic please mark it in your book itself and not explain it in detail that is important characteristic of electromagnetic waves. There are 11 characteristics of electromagnetic waves. For your examination, at least remember five. Okay, five important characteristics of electromagnetic wave. I'll just read it out. You can also note it down. Okay, the first one is the electromagnetic waves are produced by accelerated charge. Okay, any accelerated charge particle can generate electromagnetic waves so it has to be accelerated charged particle second one is these waves do not require any material medium for propagation as i've already told you electromagnetic waves can travel in vacuum so it doesn't require any medium that is the second point third one is which I have also told you that is electromagnetic waves are transverse by nature. Those are transverse waves. Another one is these waves travel in free space with the speed of light. Okay, they travel in with the speed of light because electromagnetic wa light waves are also electromagnetic waves. Okay, these are the few important points. Rest you can find it in your book itself. Okay, important characteristics characteristics of electromagnetic waves and just growth go through it the final topic from this chapter is electromagnetic spectrum okay this is a very important topic now maximum questions okay maximum questions for every year's board 
has come from this topic itself that is electromagnetic spectrum now the sunlight is known as visible spectrum was discovered by newton extends in wavelength roughly from okay the sunlight has got wavelength of 4 into the power minus 7 meter in the violet okay violet light to 8 into 10 to the power minus 7 meter in the red light but after newton it was found that sun spectrum is not limited from violet to red it is not limited from violet to red but is considerably spread below the violet region and also above the red region so there is a spectrum below this and above red so the spectrums which is above this one is ultraviolet and below this red one is <coughs> infrared spectrum so there are ranges of electromagnetic waves ranging from ultraviolet to infrared now this spectrum which is visible to us okay within red to violet is known as visible spectrum visible spectrum so ultraviolet and infrared are invisible violet to red this light are visible spectrum now we will discuss about this range of colors or sorry light or the spectrums in detail now after newton in 1965 maxwell formulated the basic law of electromagnetism in four equations which are known as maxwell's equation which are very famous but uh, due to the syllabus uh, limited syllabus which has been excluded uh, this year and he predicted that light is an electromagnetic wave thus in maxwell's time visible light and ultraviolet and infrared radiation were the only electromagnetic radiation known okay that was known by maxwell after maxwell's death it was hertz for the first time generated and detected it detected electromagnetic waves experimentally these waves were about six meter in wavelength and were called radio waves so apart from ultraviolet and infrared hertz discovered radio waves later on X-rays X -rays and gamma rays was also discovered. These were also found to travel in free space with the speed of light and thus of electromagnetic nature. The range of wavelength of all this radiation is very large and on this basis they have been given an order. This order is called electromagnetic spectrum. It ranges from very small gamma rays to a very long radio waves with overlapping regions okay overlapping regions and no gaps in between the visible spectrum is only very small part of the electromagnetic spectrum so this is an electromagnetic electromagnetic spectrum the shortest wavelength is of gamma rays ranging from 10 to the power minus 14 to 10 to the power minus 10 meter now x-ray overlaps over here ranging from this point that is 10 to the power minus 13 to 10 to the power minus 8 okay we'll uh, study this in detail also now ultraviolet uh, region is over here the very small region is ultraviolet region and the gap between ultraviolet and infrared a very small region is a visible light this visible light is actually sunlight color ranging from violet to red this is the visible spectrum the sunlight which we can see this all this uh, radio all these waves are invisible spectrums okay this infrared microwaves radio waves all these are in invisible spectrums except for sunlight which is visible spectrum so all this range of visible spectrum non-visible spectrum is known as electromagnetic spectrum now for your syllabus you need to study the characteristics property wavelength frequency range production properties and uses of each and every topic okay now uh, 
in your book actually it is given point wise like this okay it's given like this for gamma rays wavelength range from this to this frequency range from this to this production is given properties also given uses is also given so every wave every characteristics of every each and every electromagnetic spectrum is given precisely these things are very important for your examination okay very very important and maximum time the question has been asked from this spectrums only okay so this is very important i'll not go in detail and explain you all this because it's already given in the book with very small like you know part of notes so you can go through this by yourself go through your go through the book there is nothing difficult to understand you can easily understand this okay with this the chapter is also over this chapter is very short and it ends over here with this electromagnetic spectrum now there is i guess one numerical from isc i will just solve that and with that we are going to end this chapter as well Okay, the numerical from ISC is now um, numerical is this one. I'll just give you the hint. Only this one is from ISC. That is, how long would gamma radiation take to travel from sun to earth a distance of one point five in ten to the power eleven meter? Now, this is a very simple question of distance. What you have to find is okay i'll just note it down distance is equals to 1.5 into 10 to the power 11 meter speed a trick question over here is you have to find the time time is unknown speed now speed is not given to find the time we need to know the speed gamma radiation travels with the speed of flight Okay, it travels with the speed of light. So, the speed of gamma ray is 3 in 10 to the power 8. So, in this question, distance is given, speed is given, you need to find time. I hope with the formula for of speed is equals to distance divided by time, we can easily find time is equals to distance by speed. So, if we do this, 1.5 into 10 to the power 11 divided by 3 in 10 to the power 8. After solving this, what you get is 500 second. Okay, this is what you're going to get. So just try it out. This is only the numerical which is there in the book. Now, with this, we this chapter is over. In the next class, we are going to start with uh, optics. And I think that is there in the other book. So please be ready with the other book for the next class. Okay. This much for today. Thank you.